All right then, uh, good day everybody, all my glue sniffing colleagues. Um, after the uh, summer break, probably winter break for most of your areas, but in our area it's the summer break. Um, I obviously was very lucky on Christmas and got a couple of models, which obviously puts me uh, up uh, to give you a couple of uh, reviews. And uh, obviously there were also some uh, subscribers the few I have who said they would like to see some finished model of mine well I'm going to be honest with you as an absolute beginner uh, my models are still uh, very rough but nevertheless I will show you my rough models uh, soon but at the moment I would like to introduce to you one of the models I got uh, as a present on over the Christmas season and this is uh, one of them is a 36 Ford Coupe Roadster from AMT this kit came out in 2013 well, I, I tried to look up the history. Apparently, this was the first kit in that range. There is no kit before that. If there is, please let me know. Anyway, there it is. Uh, very nice car. Uh, lots of decals if you want to. Let's have a look at the side. You can also build it like this. And it tells you the custom chop top is uh, part of it. And the custom wheel covers, dot dishes, very nice. This is more or less what I'm going to be looking at. I think I want to build it like that. I, I like the old stock look. I really do. Here another idea of uh, how you can, uh, what is all part of it. You, you even get a trophy. Isn't that fantastic? You get the extra tires and you have two different options of engines. You either can do the stock flathead V8, which I love, or you can, you know, really go full out and have a go at the Pontiac V8. Here you go, and that is more or less what you have on the box. And just have, let's have a look at the bottom of the box. Here you go, it shows you uh, what should be on the spruce, and we obviously will have a look at the spruce right now. It also has, uh, which I find always very cute, it has the boxes which you can build. You can build the little boxes and put them up. I haven't done that yet, but uh, one day I will. It, I think it's a, it's very cheap. Alrighty then, but let's get right into it and have a quick look at the uh, instruction sheet, which is uh, basic AMTs. So there you have the two different engines. We thought it was either the Pontiac or the Flathead V8, and uh, normal instructions. Uh, all kind of on one sheet. I think it's pretty cool. I can I can work with that. Gives you the colors. There's your paint color chart on that side. And off you go. Now should be should be everything you really need. And uh, and that would be it. Also comes with uh, quite a few decals. Let me show you the decals over here. So if you do build the uh, Pumped up version, then you have quite a few decals to put on there. Um, you really can go crazy. Um, lots of those. Um, unfortunately for me, I love to do. I'm I'm a big fan of doing a doing a dashboard, and there are no dashboard decals. I'm a, a bit disappointed on that. But uh, so the only thing I will probably use is uh, the registration plates. So I have to decide which one. And you also get a placard which you can put on a thin piece of cardstock. You see that here. And make that part of your display of the car once you have done it. Right, let's have a look at the plastic head it comes around. I'm just chasing my cat off here. Maybe we start with the tires. Here we go, it has the normal uh, tires over here. They are not branded, which is a bit of a pity. They are branded on this side where they are not white walled, as you can see. Let's get that closer and see what they are. Here we go, Firestone branded tires. If you use them black, if you use them as white walls, I'm afraid there will be no branding and you have to Put their own branding on there which I've never done before and also do not plan to do soon. 
If you decide to go for the hot rod version, you get these kind of back tires. That's not vinyl, that's hard, normal styrene plastic which you glue together and that, that would be the back tires. It's interesting, it's the first time I see them doing it like that. So no vinyl tires for that. So that would be the tires. Um, so you get the four standard tires, white walls if you want to, and you get the two styrene white tires with it. Then uh, let's have a look at the glass. There isn't too much glass, obviously, but there is enough to do everything you need to do. Here you go. There's the whole, the whole sprue. The glass, front glass, back glass, all looks very, very clean, actually, very nice. So let me put it back again, that it stays nice and clean. And let's have a quick look at the chrome tree. These, here you are, they are uh, some special um, wheels that you can have a look at. Maybe let's get really close so you can see the detail. Here we go, very nice. Um, and then obviously uh, all the other, if you rather go for the dog dishes, they are over here, smaller dogs. So there are quite a few options uh, which you can do. I haven't, there's the, uh, <laughs> there is uh, your, your victory, uh, there is uh, lots of uh, options which you can use from the chrome tree and obviously see here uh, radiator grow and obviously uh, some of them need to be cleaned up a little bit but generally it's actually done very very well all right here we go some engine parts as well so this would be the chrome tree and that actually looks not bad at all and from the crown tree, we'll go to the white plastic. It, it all comes in just two bags, maybe three. So let's take it out. Here you are. Obviously, spare wheel cover over there. That's uh, the side covers for the engine covers. Um, bench over here. You can see there's uh, uh, quite a bit of a bit of flesh on it which makes me think that this must be a repressing from something else but anyway couldn't find anything in the history so maybe it isn't maybe it is but uh, generally nothing to write home about that can be cleaned up very very nicely and you can work on it without a problem i guess that's the roof right and let's have a look at the next one there you go you actually have two different engines over here we talked about that so that means I can use one and start practicing on wiring, uh, which will be very nice. Then you have the interesting dashboard. Let's put it that way around. Not quite sure. So obviously something comes into the dashboard from the back, which will make it look very nice. So that's going to be interesting. And uh, maybe the dashboard will not be as boring as I thought it might have been. And then we have this one with the covers, um, some suspension pieces, some engine pieces, a radiator fan, all the kinds of things uh, which you want for your engine. Then there was a second bag of parts, which we have over here. Now here you are, you have a, a normal roof normal height size roof uh, with the uh, wiper molded in uh, that's something you will need to be careful of when you start finishing it off then you have the slammed roof over here very nice actually very nicely molded it looks looks very clean then you have the roof i would like to use which is the canvas roof uh, very nicely and here is part of the pan there you go. There's some detail at the bottom not overly detailed a wooden floor so probably that will be kind of a dark black brownish color and I guess this would then be either the boot or the tank not really then we have um, 
another one with uh, lots of options here available here the another normal wheels um, which is wonderful normal steelies then you have uh, two different steering wheels one for the hot rod and the other one for the stock version that's also part of the wheel assembly there's part of the engine assembly two different uh, belts over here with the uh, water pumps and all the other accessories on it and then we have another dashboard over here it doesn't look too different from the one we had a look at already but yeah here it is gives you a pretty good idea as I said already before there are no decals for the dashboard so that's, that's well not from that now last but not least we'll have a look at the bottom part pan we want to call it here you go the back seat is kind of molded in some receptors for stuff which needs to go in but obviously the bottom then goes in in there well that's all very simple should be very simple to uh, work uh, and and uh, file down sandpaper down and have a go at it beautiful beautiful piece and then we have the body it wasn't much of a body in those days so there you go Looks all very nice and fair enough. So all in all, it's not. It looks. A, it looks a decent kit. It is a relative new kit. It has a couple of of flash issues, but nothing really serious, which a normal model builder wouldn't be able to clean up. Actually, very very nice. I like it a lot. Um, uh, I like this period, of course, uh, and and I'm really looking forward building it someday so here it is the AMT 36 Ford Coupe Roadster little introduction to what you will find in the box um, I can recommend it I, I think it will be an awesome build I'm, I'm looking forward to it just having some other builds in the pipeline which I want to finish first like my 50s old I'll show you that one once it's once it's uh, in a condition to be shown off in the meantime thanks very much for watching and uh, have a wonderful day Cheers.